CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. 5 0. <clears throat> Go back to the start of the summer. There was people who were into you, they were into the side because you'd lost in India, 4-0. You'd lost in England, 3-0. There was people who thought Michael Clark's probably not up to the, the captaincy. And here we are, two months later, and everything's rosy. Hmm. Well, what happened? Yeah, I think I copped my fair share. I think the, the team certainly copped their fair share. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's part of life, Mark, and certainly part of captaincy in playing cricket for Australia, as I'm sure you would have experienced through your career, that... No matter what you do, no matter how many runs you make, no matter how many games you win or lose, there's going to be people that don't like you as a player um, and find it quite easy to criticise you. So it's about copping that on the chin. You know, when we went through what we did in India, I think individually players made a decision that, you know, we had to make change in regards to our attitude for this team to have success. And we had to accept that that was probably rock bottom for us. So what do we have to do to, to be able to turn this team around and help, help us get back on that that winning train rather than you know continuing to to lose games of cricket so you know I think a lot of the senior players deserve a lot of credit and they, they probably haven't um, haven't received the credit that they deserve I think they've played a huge part you know it, it, it's funny that four months ago we were labeled the the worst Australian team to ever tour India four months on you labeled you know one of the greatest ashes wins uh, of all time to beat England 5-0 so you know I think that's part and parcel of our game that you got to um, if you read the media, you've got to accept the good with the bad. Yeah. If you don't read the media, then you know no more or no less. So <laughs> it's about, yeah, like I say, performance on the field has a huge, um, or plays a huge part in, in the public's perception as well. Was there a moment or a meeting you had with the players where you thought, hang on, we're turning, we're turning things around here a bit? Uh, the conversation, when I think about the, the recent Ashes series, the conversation that sticks in my mind the most was the conversation I had with the three fast bowlers before a ball was bowled in the series, and, and I pretty much just told them my thoughts on how I see them as an, as an attack. I do believe they are the greatest attack in the world, and the reason for that is because they complement each other so well. Um, whether that gave them belief or not, I don't know. You'll have to ask those three. But for me, that conversation is probably um, the most important conversation I had. Mitchell Johnson in particular, you saw something in him before the start of the summer that a lot of other people didn't see. <clears throat> what was it? What was the change in Mitchell Johnson that you'd noticed? I think we seen when he come back into the one day set up in England that he had his pace, but he also had his accuracy. But it was more his attitude. He, he looked like he was keen and hungry to get back into the Australian test one day, 2020, whatever. He wanted to be a part of this group. And um, I think I've seen enough through that series to know that if he was given an opportunity, um, I had faith that he was going to lead the way. And I think I said he, he will be man of the series if, he's, if the selectors give him an opportunity. Jimmy Anderson comes out to bat in the Gabba test match. Um, and he has a word with um, George Bailey. You step in and you suggest something about you might end up with a pretty sore arm. How do you rationalise that? And how do you how do you think the public have perceived Michael Clark after that issue? Um, I'm not really worried too much about the perception, to be honest, because that's part and parcel of playing cricket for Australia. People are going to like it. Pe people aren't going to like you. Um, I certainly don't think it's appropriate that the Australian cricket captain is using uh, the language, firstly, but also um, you know, what I said to Jimmy, I don't think that's appropriate to be saying that over a camera. More than anything else, it was the fact that what was said to um, my teammate, who was a deputant at the time, it was what I said was more about sticking up for him. It doesn't make it right, but it was, it was just how I felt at the time. Moving on, getting over the line, can you give us an idea of that afternoon and then that night when you've you've achieved such a goal? Yeah, it's it's obviously as special as it gets. Um, you know, that's the pinnacle as an Australian cricketer, in, in my opinion. You know, to play test cricket, to play against England in Australia in front of your fans and, and family and friends and, and to win the Ashes, it doesn't get any more special than that. And, and I think that was no doubt the feeling around the group. I think there was a lot of a lot of relief because of what we, we went through. I think 2013 is a year that um, a lot of the Australian players will, will remember and cherish for, for a number of reasons. But the fact that, you know, you talk about the roller coaster ride through your, through your career, 2013 was exactly that. <laughs> Worst team in the world to, you know, beating England 5-0. So, you know, I think there was, there was certainly some relief there that all the hard work and all the, the rubbish um, that had been said about us, um, the criticism of a number of people, you know, yeah, we've copped a lot from the media, but we copped a lot from past players, um, 
public, you name it, we copped it from them. So to be able to turn it around in Perth was, was probably a thank you to all the people that did stand by us, all the, all the support that we, have, we had had. I think winning that, that test match was as special for us as it was for the people that stuck by us. Did, did you sense that around the country, that the whole country was celebrating that win? Oh, definitely. We felt it from, from the first test match in Brisbane. There was no doubt about it. I think if we were flat at all, the crowd would have, you know, the crowd found a way to give us that second wind and, and we, we played on it sometimes, you know, I think in, in Perth, in that second innings where, you know, we couldn't get a wicket, I think I turned to the crowd yeah. to try and get them the G Mitchell up and, um, yeah, I, I, I think that was, that was as special as winning, to be honest, to actually know that the Australian public were, were so far behind us and wanted to see us have success. And I think, you know, part of that is because we hit rock bottom in India and there was a lot of talk of how bad a team we were. I think the public thought, you know what, well, if we're going to win this series, we're going to try and, we're going to try and get behind them and, and help them. And, and, and no doubt they played a huge part in that.